Have you ever wondered how a car could run on water? Yes, you heard it right, water. It sounds like a concept straight out of a science fiction novel, doesn't it? But what if we told you that this isn't just a product of someone's wild imagination, but a reality that was once brought to life by a man named Daniel Dingle? Let's take a moment to consider the potential of water as a fuel source. It's abundant, it's renewable, and it's virtually everywhere. Imagine if we could harness the power of water to fuel our cars. It could revolutionize our world, drastically reducing our reliance on fossil fuels and significantly curbing carbon emissions. The environmental benefits alone are staggering to consider. A shift to water-powered cars could mean cleaner air, less pollution, and a major step towards combating climate change. But how is it possible, you might ask? How can water, a substance we associate with quenching our thirst and bathing, power a machine as complex as a car? Enter Daniel Dingle, a man from the Philippines who dared to dream big. He was not just a dreamer but a doer, a man who took action and made his vision a reality. He developed a water-powered car, using the process of electrolysis to split water into hydrogen and oxygen gases. These gases would then recombine to produce more energy than it takes to split them, powering the car's engine. This is no simple feat. It's a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of innovation. But as with any revolutionary idea, it was met with skepticism and faced numerous challenges. Nevertheless, Dingle persisted driven by his belief in the possibility of a water-powered future. Intrigued? Let's delve deeper into the fascinating story of Daniel Dingle, the man who dared to dream of a water-powered future. Daniel Dingle, a name that is not usually found in our science textbooks but surely deserves a spot. Born and bred in the heart of the Philippines, Dingle was a man with an extraordinary vision. He was an innovator, a dreamer, and a doer, driven by a relentless passion for progress and a profound belief in the power of human ingenuity. From a young age, Dingle was fascinated with the world around him, always questioning, always probing. To him, the world wasn't just a place to live, it was a puzzle to solve, an enigma to unravel. His curiosity led him down a path less traveled, a journey of exploration and discovery that would consume most of his life. Dingle's magnum opus, his lifelong project, was an audacious attempt to power a car with nothing but water. Yes, you heard it right, water. The same stuff we drink, bathe in, and take for granted every day. He envisioned a world where cars didn't need gasoline or diesel, where our reliance on fossil fuels was a thing of the past. To him, water wasn't just a necessity for life. It was the fuel of the future. For decades, Dingle dedicated himself to realizing this dream. He toiled away in his workshop, tinkering and tweaking, testing and retesting. He faced countless setbacks and disappointments, but he never gave up. He was a man on a mission, a man with an unbreakable spirit and an unshakable belief in his cause. Of course, this wasn't an easy path. The road to innovation is often paved with obstacles and setbacks, and Dingle's journey was no exception. He faced skepticism and criticism, ridicule and rejection. But he was not deterred. He pressed on, undaunted, driven by his vision and fueled by his passion. His journey wasn't smooth, filled with numerous challenges and obstacles, but Dingle was a man of perseverance. No matter the odds, no matter the challenges, he kept going, kept pushing, kept dreaming. And in doing so, he left a legacy that continues to inspire and challenge us to this day. In 1969, Dingle did the unthinkable. He created a car that ran on nothing but water. Now, how did he accomplish this seemingly impossible feat? The secret lies in a process known as electrolysis. Dingle used this method to split water into its fundamental elements, hydrogen and oxygen. This process was facilitated by a device he invented, often referred to as a hydrogen reactor. This reactor worked like a charm, converting water into what's known as HHO gas. This gas, a potent mix of hydrogen and oxygen, was then used to power the car's engine. The reactor was so efficient that it could produce enough gas to run the car for an entire day on just a liter of water. The brilliance of Dingle's invention was not just in the science, but also in its simplicity. 
He didn't need any elaborate contraptions or high-tech equipment. His car looked like any other car on the road, except for a small device installed under the hood. But why was Dingle's invention revolutionary? Why was it years ahead of its time? Well, consider this. At a time when fossil fuels were the dominant source of energy, Dingle was already thinking about sustainability. He was already envisioning a world where cars could run on a renewable, abundant resource, water. His invention was a testament to human ingenuity and our potential to create sustainable solutions for our planet. It was a glimpse into a future where our dependence on fossil fuels could be significantly reduced. However, as is often the case with groundbreaking innovations, Dingle's water-powered car wasn't without its share of skeptics. Many questioned the feasibility of his invention, citing laws of physics and thermodynamics. But Dingle remained unfazed, believing in the potential of his creation. But as we all know, every innovation comes with its unique set of challenges. While the idea of a water-powered car was revolutionary, it was not without its challenges. As with any groundbreaking concept, the path to realization was fraught with difficulties. One of the most significant challenges that Daniel Dingle faced was the production of enough HHO gas, a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen, to run the engine efficiently. His water-powered car functioned through electrolysis, a process that splits water into hydrogen and oxygen gases. These gases then recombine to produce energy. However, generating enough HHO gas to power an engine effectively proved to be a daunting task. But technical difficulties weren't the only obstacle. Dingle also had to grapple with skepticism from the scientific community. Many questioned the viability of his invention, pointing out that the laws of thermodynamics suggested it was impossible for the recombination of hydrogen and oxygen to produce more energy than it took to split them. This debate brought into focus the pioneering work of historical figures like Daniel Rutherford and Lord Kelvin, who made significant contributions to our understanding of gases. Moreover, Dingle encountered a lack of support from both the government and the private sectors. Despite his ambition to share his revolutionary technology globally, he found himself largely on his own. The world wasn't ready to embrace such a radical shift in energy production and this created a significant barrier to the development and scaling of his invention. Yet these challenges did not deter Dingle. He remained steadfast in his belief and unwavering in his commitment to his revolutionary idea. His journey is a testament to the spirit of innovation and a reminder that progress often comes at the price of perseverance in the face of skepticism and adversity. Despite the challenges, Dingle's story serves as an inspiration for all innovators out there. Daniel Dingle may not have achieved commercial success with his invention, but his legacy lives on. His audacious idea, a car powered by nothing but water, might have been met with skepticism and obstacles, but it sparked a curiosity that still resonates within the scientific community today. Dingle's work served as a catalyst, opening up a world of possibilities for future research into alternative energy sources. His invention, albeit impractical in its original form, was a stepping stone, a bold vision of a future where fossil fuels could be replaced by a source as abundant as water. His story, while often shrouded in controversy, serves as a testament to the power of human ingenuity and the courage to challenge the status quo. Despite the doubts and the naysayers, Dingle dared to dream, dared to invent, and in doing so, he has left an indelible mark on the world of science and innovation. Today, Dingle's legacy continues to inspire inventors and innovators around the globe. His journey, filled with both triumphs and setbacks, serves as a reminder that the path to groundbreaking innovation is seldom smooth, but always worth the trek. In the grand scheme of things, success is not always measured in dollars and cents, patents and copyrights. Sometimes it lies in the ability to inspire, to challenge, to ignite a spark that could potentially change the world. And in that regard, Daniel Dingle was indeed successful. So keep wondering, keep innovating, because you never know, you might be the next Daniel Dingle. Daniel Dingle's story is a testament to the power of innovation and perseverance. His groundbreaking venture into water-powered cars, though it encountered numerous obstacles, has left a lasting impact.
It has sparked debates and inspired further research into alternative fuel sources. Despite the challenges, his vision and determination have shown us the importance of pushing boundaries and daring to dream. As we continue to explore and question the world around us, let's remember to embrace the spirit of innovation. Subscribe for more amazing content. Keep wondering. Don't miss out on future explorations and discoveries. Hit subscribe and ring the bell to stay updated with our new content. Your journey of wonder continues with every video. Stay connected and engaged on social media. Continue the conversation, follow us. Thank you for being a part of the Have You Ever Wondered community. Keep wondering, keep discovering. Until next time.